YouTube. What up? It's your boy Chris. One half from the Chris and Chris show. Coming at y'all with another banger. Anyway, we're going to talk about NBA today. Season ready to get kicked off. A lot of chit chat going on. So this video today, I'm going to bring y'all the top five duos. Matter of fact, who I think is the best duo in the NBA. Not only the top five, but the best in the NBA. So without further ado, I have number one, no particular order. Well, actually it is particular, but I'm going to go for one to five. Who I think is the best duo in the league. LeBron James and Anthony Davis. You know, big guy, little guy, pick and roll, beast modes. They go crazy defense, offensively. Anthony Davis is pretty much top three by himself. Top top three to five best player in the world. Then you got LeBron, of course. The, the OG, the Hall of Famer, arguably the greatest player to ever play the game. Yes, I said it. You know what I mean? Sorry, but not sorry. So I got the Los Angeles Lakers, AD LeBron James at number one. Number two, I got to go with Kawhi, Paul George. Defensive specialist, beasts. Two-way, the best two-way players in the NBA, bar none. Nobody can't do nothing with them. Kawhi Leonard just came off of championship. They got him number one best player in the world. I don't know, LeBron might have to see something about that. But um, outside of that, they pretty much number two, in my opinion. You know, I think they still got to, I don't know how they, how they, how would they, they style would resonate with each other. I pretty much know what AD and LeBron's going to pretty much do coming into the season. Even though they ain't played together, but I know the, they, they was friends before they even got to well as Kawhi and Paul George but I think LeBron and AD is more of a because LeBron's more of a facilitator so that's why I gave him that that, that nod excuse me but yo check it number three Steph Curry and Klay Thompson yeah man they still elite the, the, the Splash Brothers man Come on, man. How, you, how can you not? Like, come on, man. The Splash Brothers got to be at least top three in the NBA. Until they fall off, I don't see no other duo that can pretty much shoot the lights out more than them. So I got them at number three. Number four. Hmm. I'm going to go with Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. Yep. I'm going to go with Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons because they got a lot to prove this year. So I think they're going to really make noise this year, especially on defense. Joel Embiid is one of the, arguably the best center in the league. Then you got Ben Simmons, a top five point guard in this league. That's going to be dangerous. So I got them at number four. Number five, I'm going to go with James Harden and Russell Westbrook. Yeah, man, that, that, oh, man, that backcourt going to be crazy. I want to see how this, how the, how the, how the ball will get around, though. But them being both ball dominant, I want to see how this ball will, like, get around because it's only one basketball, and then them niggas like to score. So, let's see. Let's see. I don't know, man. Let's see. Now, to the people that's saying, oh, yo, where's Dame Lillard? Where's CJ? Or oh, where's, um... Kevin Durant, Kyrie, uh, Dame, CJ, you you know what to expect from them, and they be giving us the same results year in year out. You know they win, but they not they're deadly, but they not winning anything. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think we're gonna get the same CJ and Dame. You know what I mean? And as far as Kyrie, KD, I think until the year after next, that's when you're gonna see that. Cause you know, KD's out for the year, so you ain't gonna really know how that duo is gonna look until Cavs come back or whatever. So, I don't know. They gotta worry about uh, Luka Donich and um, Chris Stapp, Porzingis. That's a uh, deadly uh, combo. Yoke is Jamal Murray. So it's just a lot of honorable mentions, you know what I mean? But 
They got Zion, Lonzo, the, the new ball, um, the, the young bucks coming up. You know what I mean? So, I don't know, man. But those are my top five. It's a lot of honorable mentions, and you know, a shout out to the, the duels. The NBA is full of duels this year, so the best is yet to come. But those are my top five. I ain't gonna hold you too long. Give y'all some dope content. The best NBA duos coming this upcoming season. Like, comment, subscribe, hate, whatever you gotta do, man. Hit that comment. Hit that comment section. Hit that like button. Do what you gotta do, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend. It's your boy Chris from the Chris and Chris Show. Peace.